damage on our tester. The look of the X5 is purposeful indeed, with the cues that suggest speed, the rolled rear treatment, and the quad pipes with their sporting exhaust note exiting through the lower fascia on each side of the dealer-installed Class 3 receiver hitch. The pipes let you know the X5 is no slouch under the hood, where the 4.4 liter 4 cam 32 valve V8 makes 282 horses and 324 pound-feet of torque. That's enough horses to run the 5,000 pound X5 to 60 in 6.9 seconds, about three seconds faster than the average sport utility. And stopping is equally impressive. With four channel anti-lock controlling four wheel discs, the X5 needs just 167 feet from 70 to zero. Inside, you'll swear you are seated in a 5 Series wagon. The supportive front buckets are fully electric and very comfortable in the firm German tradition. The cabin is generously trimmed in burled walnut, and there are three airbags for each front passenger, front, side, and the tube-shaped head protector that pops out of the A-pillar. Instruments are typical BMW, the stereo is superb once you decipher the controls, and the five-speed auto transmission comes as a manumatic if you want to manage the shifts yourself. Second row seating has good leg room, but the padding seems a bit thin. The kids probably won't notice. The curved hatch is a two-piece setup with an electric release for the tailgate below. Easy to open on what turns out to be not much cargo space. Less than the trunk of a Taurus with the seats up and only 54 cubic feet with a 70-30 split bench folded down. 11 cube less than the Ford Escape. So you may want to pull a trailer for yourself. And with the strong V8, this BMW has a tow rating that will have you bringing home collector cars or towing your Arabian horses with no sweat. 6,000 pounds is the rating out back with up to 600 pounds on the tongue. And that kind of weight, the X5 has plenty in reserve for hauling the freight at freeway speeds. And we found no fault with the power in off-road running. Even without a low range in the transfer case, the X5 is quick and sure-footed running fire trails into the backwoods. Although the seven inch ground clearance will keep you looking hard for rocks in the roof. That's the sound of the front fascia dragging a bit. The all wheel drive system uses open differentials and the four channel anti-lock to stop a spinning wheel, much like the Mercedes ML system. Why again as the right rear is braked, so power will flow to the wheels with traction. The system is effective in moderate off-roading, but the X5 isn't a rock crawler. The biggest complaint we have is one you don't have to buy. The optional sport package with a firm suspension is way too firm for a sport utility. Our test found every thrust heave and expansion joint in the highways, and on the paved lanes past the estates where potential X5 buyers would live, the side-to-side -side motions over the backwoods asphalt will have your passengers complaining. Here's Greg view from the back seat. Running through unbroken pavement, there are no potholes here, but the kids and the missus will be screaming if you hustle in the X5 anywhere close to the handle limits. So keep that 2600 for the sport option in your jeans. Uh, designer jeans, if you're a buyer, our X5 sticker just over 55000 with all options, including the towing package. A healthy price for the BMW version of a sport utility. The summary here starts with all the good things we expect from a BMW. Stunning good looks, a very healthy V8, handling on pavement that's the best of any sport utility, and there's the trailer towing capability for your load of Arabian horses or whatever. But there's nothing much to like about the price of the X5 or the lack of cargo space, or the ground clearance, or the limited off-road capability. Truth is, a lot of other brands do this sport utility thing better.